Welcome to Solve It with Sir Jude. Today, we will be discussing about solving quadratic equations by factoring. So this is actually the second method that we can use in solving quadratic equations. The first one was already discussed in our previous video lesson entitled Solving Quadratic Equations by Extracting Square Roots. So this is based on the most essential learning competencies that was given by the Department of Education. So what is our objective for today's discussion? So at the end of the discussion, you should be able to solve quadratic equations by factoring. So ano-ano nga ba yung mga kailangan nating malaman bago tayo mag-solve ng quadratic equations by factoring? The first one is the zero product property. So if in a square root property, it is used in extracting square roots, sa factoring naman, zero product property. So it states that if a times b is equal to 0, meron daw dalawang factors at equal sila kay 0, then one of them must be equal to 0. Or pwedeng yung dalawa sa kanila ay equal to 0. So when can we use solving quadratic equations by factoring? So it is most convenient to use, of course, if the quadratic equation is factorable. It can be factorable using Factoring perfect square trinomial, difference of two squares, GCMF, or factoring general trinomial. So, pwede lang siyang i-apply kapag ka factorable. So, let us now have how to solve. What are the steps in solving quadratic equations by factoring? So, number one, we should make sure na yung quadratic equation ay written in its standard form. So, ano nga ulit yung standard form? AX squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Kung hindi pa siya in standard form, kailangan natin siyang i-put into standard form, of course. So, for the second one, we should transform the quadratic equation in its factored form. So, depende sa equation kung paano natin siya ma -ipa factor using factoring techniques. And then, for the third one, we need to use the zero product property. So, yung property na diniscuss natin kanina, gagamitin natin for step number 3. And then, we need to solve for the unknown value of the missing variable. So, simulan na natin. So, example number 1. So, for example number 1, we are given with 4x squared minus 8x is equal to 0. So, ano kayang factoring technique ang pwede natin i-apply given 4x squared minus 8x is equal to 0? So, if you can see, merong something na pwede sa kanilang i-factor out. Okay? So, we can use GCMF to factor out 4x squared minus 8x is equal to 0. So, papaano ba natin gagamitin si GCMF? Or ano ba yung GCMF ng mismong quadratic equation na dipin? So, to do that, we need to look for the GCF of 4 and 8. Doon muna tayo sa number 4 and 8. So, the GCF will be 4. How about, doon naman tayo sa variable, x squared and x, what is the GCF? So, remember, na kapag gumukuha tayo ng GCF ng variables, we need to look for the variable with the least exponent. So, in this case, the GCF of x squared and x will be x. So, if we are going to get the product, we will now obtain the GCMF, which is equal to 4x. And then, after that, if I factor out natin si 4x, dito sa mismong uh, original quadratic equation. So, that will be 4x times a particular expression inside the parentheses. So, sir, papaano po ba natin malalaman yung natira out of the original equation since pinactor out natin si 4x? So, babalik tayo sa original equation. And then, each of the terms will be divided by the GCMF. Okay? So, divide natin parehas by 4x. So, this part of the equation, 4x squared divided by 4x, pwede natin i-cancel si 4, and it will have uh, a quotient of x. So, x squared divided by x, that will be x. And then, for the second term, that will be negative 8x divided by 4x, ang magiging quotient will be negative 2. So, ayan na. Meron na tayong factored form. Since meron na tayong factored form, Ang kasunod na gagawin ay to apply the zero product property. 
So each of the factors will be equated to 0. So the first factor will be 4x. So 4x equated to 0, that will be 4x is equal to 0. At the same time, yung other factor, which is x minus 2 equated to 0, that will become x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then we need to solve for the values of x. Dito muna tayo sa first equation na to, 4x is equal to 0. So to get the value of x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 4. So simplifying, so we have the value of x which is equal to 0. And then the other equation given by x minus 2 is equal to 0, if we are going to transpose negative 2 to the other side, or by applying the addition property, the value of x will now be equal to positive 2. So remember that when we are transferring terms, nagbabago tayo ng sign. So therefore, the solutions of this equation for x squared minus 8x is equal to 0 is given by the solutions 0 and 2. So that is factoring using GCMF. Bigay pa tayo ng isa pang example. So the second example is given by 12x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. So again, we will be using the GCMF as a technique in factoring this equation. So to factor out, kailangan natin si GCF ni 12 and 3. Ano ba ang GCF ni 12 and 3? So that will be, of course, 3. Paano naman yung uh, variables? Ang variables given will be x squared and x. So the GCF is the variable with the least exponent. Therefore, that is x. So, to get the GCMF, we just need to get the product. So, 3 times x lang yan. Pag samayin lang natin, that will be 3x. And then, for the factored form, i-factor out natin si 3x na GCMF dito sa original equation na ito. So, ano kaya ang matitira sa loob ng parentheses? So, para malaman natin kung ano yung ilalagay natin sa loob ng parentheses, babalik tayo sa original equation. Ayan. And then, i-de-divide natin both terms by the GCMF. The GCMF here is 3x. So, therefore, divide by 3x. And then, if you are going to simplify, so 12x squared divided by 3x will be 4x. And at the same time, 3x divided by 3x, so this part, that will be positive 1. So, ayan. Naroon na tayong factored form. So, we are now given with the factored form 3x times 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So the next thing that we are going to do is to apply the zero product property in order for us to solve for the values of x. So each of the factors will be equated to 0. So the first factor 3x equated to 0, the result will be 3x is equal to 0. And then the other factor given by 4x plus 1 equated to 0, that will be 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then after that, if you can see, we now have two equations. Dito muna tayo sa first equation, 3x is equal to 0. In order for us to get the value of x, the first value of x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. And if we are going to simplify, the first value of x will be 0. Okay? So we will now go with the second equation given by 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So ilipat muna natin si positive 1 sa kabilang side ni equation. So magkakaroon tayo ng 4x is equal to negative 1. Ulit, kailangan lang natin yung value ni x. But in this case, we are given with 4x. So to get the value of x here, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 4. And if we are going to simplify, the value of x now is equal to negative 1 fourth. So what are the solutions of this quadratic equation? So the solutions are 0 and negative 1 fourth. Okay, so let us now go with the third example. So let us now proceed with the third example given by x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. So kung mapapansin natin, hindi na siya pwedeng ma-factor using GCMF. But rather, we will be using factoring general trinomial. So in order for us to factor x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0, the first thing that we should do is to factor x squared. So the factors of x squared will be x times x. Okay? So next, 
we need to think of factors of 4. Or dalawang number na kapag multiply mo, positive 4 ang magiging sagot. Factors ni Laster. Na kung saan, at the same time, kapag in mo naman yung dalawang numbers na yun, it will result to 5, which is the value of our B. So what are the numbers? The numbers are 4 and 1. So if we are going to check 4 times 1, that will give us 4, which is the last term of our quadratic equation. And then the sum 4 plus 1, that will be 5, which happens to be the value of B of our linear term. So, the factored form will be x plus 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, take note na positive yan pareha. So, therefore, it should go positive 4 and positive 1 in the factored form. Then, since the equation is already in its factored form, so, ang kasunod na gagawin natin is, of course, to apply the zero product property. Ye-equate natin both factors to 0. So, the first one, x plus 4, Equated to 0, that will be x plus 4 is equal to 0. And then the other factor, x plus 1, equated to 0, that will be x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then after that, dito muna tayo sa first equation na to, which is x plus 4 is equal to 0. It transfer natin si positive 4 to the other side of the equation. So therefore, the first value of x will be equal to negative 4. So the same process will be applied for the second equation that we had made. So that will be x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then, it transfer natin si positive 1 to the other side of the equation. So therefore, the value of x will be negative 1. So therefore, the solutions of this equation will be negative 4 and negative 1. And if we are going to rewrite it in solution set, so it should be enclosed by curly braces so, the set of numbers including negative 4 and negative 1. So, let us now proceed with the fourth example given by x squared plus x is equal to 6. So, kung mapapansin natin, the quadratic equation is not yet in its standard form. So, ilipat muna natin si 6 dito doon sa kabilang side ng equation. So, kailangan kasama siya ni x squared plus x. So, the result will be x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Since naka-standard form na ang ating quadratic equation, we will be factoring out x squared. Yun yung unang-una. So, the factors will be x times x. And then, after that, we should think of factors of negative 6. Factors ni negative 6, dalawang numbers pag minultiply negative 6. At the same time, kapag kainad natin yung dalawang number, positive 1 naman ang magiging sagot, which is the value of B in our quadratic equation. So, what are the numbers? The numbers are 3 and negative 2. So, to check, 3 times negative 2 will give us negative 6. At the same time, 3 plus negative 2 will give us positive 1. So, how are we going to rewrite that in its factored form? So, since positive 3 to, so, positive 3 din dapat tingnahan dito. So, the first factor is x plus 3. The second factor, which is negative 2, should go here. So, therefore, the second factor will be x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, this is already written in its factored form. So, therefore, we will be using your zero product property. I-equate natin both factors to 0. So, let us first have x plus 3. So, x plus 3 equated to 0, that will be x plus 3 is equal to 0. On the other hand, x minus 2 equated to 0, that will be x minus 2 is equal to 0. Dun muna tayo sa unang equation, which is x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, to get the value of x, it transfer natin si positive 3 to the other side of the equation. So, if that will be the case, the first solution will be x equals negative 3. So, how about on the second equation? which is x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, it transpose din natin si negative 2 doon sa kabilang side. So, therefore, the value of x will be positive 2. So, therefore, the solutions of this equation will be negative 3 and 2. And if we are going to rewrite it in solution set, so this will be the set of numbers including negative 3 and 2.
Next example is given by x squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So if you can see, this one can also be solved using extracting square roots. But we can actually use factoring also in solving this one. So actually, we can use factoring uh, difference of two squares. Since yung terms na x squared at 36 are both perfect squares. And they are separated by a minus sign. Okay? So therefore, if you are going to factor this out, ang magiging resulta should be sum and difference of two terms. Ayan. Sum and difference of two terms. So papaano natin ilalagay or papaano natin kukuhain yung mga ilalagay nating terms dito? Yung square root ni x squared will be put in the first term of both binomials. So the square root of x squared will be x. So that will be x. And then sa kabila din may x. And then, to get the other term here, kailangan lang natin i-extract yung square root ni 36, which is 6. So that will be 6 on the first binomial and then another 6 in the second binomial. So this will now be the factored form. Okay? Since naka-factored form na siya, we can now use the zero product property. We will be equating both factors to zero. So that will be x plus 6 is equal to zero and then x minus 6 is equal to zero. Dito muna tayo sa first equation. Okay? Kapag tinransfer natin si, negative, si positive 6, rather, doon sa kabila, the value of x will now be equal to negative 6. So, same process lang din yung gagawin natin para naman dito sa x minus 6 is equal to zero. So, transfer natin si negative 6 sa kabila, therefore, the value of x will be positive 6. So, therefore, the solutions of this equation given by x squared minus 36 is equal to 0 are negative 6 and 6. And if we are going to rewrite it in solution set, so the solution set will be the set of numbers including negative 6 and 6. So we are now on the last example given by x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to 0. So kung mapapansin natin, the equation is already written in its standard form. But we can now apply factoring perfect square trinomial here. Sir, paano naging perfect square trinomial? So kapag kinuha yung half nito and in, in square at ang naging resulta ay yung C or yung constant term natin, that is considered as a perfect square trinomial. So the perfect square trinomial or factoring perfect square trinomial, the result will be a square of a binomial. So ito yung form niya. Okay? So, how are we going to get the terms inside the parentheses? So, kuwain lang natin yung square root ni x squared here. The square root of x squared is x. Then, we now get the square root of the last term, which is 25. So, that will be 5. Sir, anong sign? So, the, the sign will be, we will follow the sign of the middle term. So, the sign here is negative. So, therefore, doon sa binomial, negative 10. Okay? So, this will now be our factored form. So, kung mapapansin natin, since dalawa yung x minus 5, since naka-squared siya, so dalawa rin yan dapat in uh, applying zero product property. So, that will be x minus 5 is equal to 0, and then the other one should be x minus 5 is equal to 0 also. So, if we are going to get the values of x, parehas lang sila. Okay? The first value of x here is 5, and then the other one will also be 5. So therefore, the solutions are 5 and 5. And if you are going to rewrite it in a solution set, so it will be the set of numbers including 5 and 5. So it is now your turn to solve the following quadratic equations by factoring. So please pause the video for a while and then try to answer. And then, kasud na dito will be your the answer key.
So, these are the answers to the following quadratic equations. Yan. So, number 1, x is equal to 0, comma, 4 thirds. Sa number 2, 0, comma, negative 1 over 13. Sa number 3, negative 8, comma, 1. And then, sa number 4, negative 3, comma, 4. So, if this video helped you in understanding solving quadratic equations by factoring, please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell for more video lessons. So, this is Sir Jude, and see you again in Solve It with Sir Jude. Good day!